Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. As I mentioned, uh, I think it was last week, if not the week before, in a TLDR episode, the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or maybe it was in a separate segment, I can't remember exactly, I am teaching or co-teaching a class for budding entrepreneurs. And uh, it's been fun so far. I've only really been involved with one class and I've received a handful of their ideas by email. This is part of the, the workload. These responses came as separate emails back to me and the, the professor that I'm, I'm, I guess I'm teaching with or alongside, even though partial, uh, a part of that is virtual. In fact, I'll be doing it again tonight. If you want to tune in to watch me interact with the class, I'll be on live.perillo.com because this is where I stream my entire life. Uh, so these emails came in separately, and I, and I had to track you know, different documents, and I couldn't easily reply and know that I replied and got everything that I needed to say out. I mean, pretty soon I could have had 25 different email threads going on between 25 different students. And that could have been, well, in my estimation, a gross overuse of uh, time. And so today, uh, the, uh, one of the uh, class assistants had compiled the list of responses with the students' ideas into one document, a Word document, and I asked if I could upload that document to Google Docs. I use Google Docs for everything. Uh, and especially if you're going to create a document with the intention on sharing that document or collaborating with others, you, you should put it online somewhere. Editing it offline is fine, but putting it online so that you can more easily collaborate just makes so much more sense. So what I did was I imported the document, imported just fine, and I left a comment next to each particular, uh, I guess, idea. So it had group one, group two, group three, and I left a comment for each group. And these comments could even have comments associated with the comments. So it's like tracking changes in a traditional Word document or uh, an Office document. You could do the same thing on Google Docs. So now I've got one place where everybody can see uh, my feedback and potentially continue that dialogue down, each, down the line and still refer back to it and, and track it in such a, well, I would say a, a much more comprehensive manner rather than having to refer to 25 different emails and how many document revisions. Collaboration is key for the success of any type of endeavor that involves more than one person. Whether we're talking in a classroom construct, in a business construct, Google, even though it hasn't done in the, it hasn't been perfect uh, with its execution of, of Google Docs, which, by the way, started as a, an acquisition. Uh, they didn't develop it themselves. They've done, I think, as good a job as any in making it simple to do. Uh, I got an email. I, I pull it up, but I, I think I deleted it. I go through my emails pretty quick. Uh, from my brother who teaches, and I told him about Google Docs because he you know, recently got a new notebook computer, a PC, and, I, and he was asking about uh, needing a copy, a le legitimate copy of Microsoft Office that he can attain on an educator's discount. And I suggested to him, you know, why, why not use Google Docs to do something? Whether it's a Word document that you were wanting to use or a word processing document, or it was a spreadsheet. And he started to use, on his own volition, I did not give him any more uh, suggestions from that point, just a general point. From that uh, point, he started using a spreadsheet to track students' grades and progress. What was more interesting is other teachers have asked him about it and how he did it. Uh, so he saw the power as someone who I would not consider, you know, a geek like you or I might consider ourselves. Um, he saw the power of using this tool to access that spreadsheet from any particular computer, whether it was a, a traditional desktop computer, a laptop computer, a tablet computer, uh, a phone uh, computer, whatever. Anywhere you can get online, you can access that particular document. And then potentially, if he has other teachers he needs to collaborate with, uh, he can just share the document. And they can go back and they can look at revisions. Uh, they can uh, certainly track uh, progress more easily in a less than centralized fashion. So instead of having one document that lives on someone's hard drive that gets emailed around, oh God, you want to talk about a nightmare and a half, you don't have to worry about software revisions anymore. Uh, I do use 
uh, I would say, traditional office products, but not a lot. And it's usually just to convert, if anything. And by and large, I could do the same thing online. Google Docs is free. Um, you, you, I, I'm not going to say you have an unlimited amount of storage, but I'm guessing you're not going to hit that ceiling within Google's universe. And by the time you do, I'm sure they are, are you know, going to give you more access to data. You could also pay for more data from Google if you want, um, you know, in terms of storage and capacity with your account across all of your uh, Google connected services. But uh, you know, we've outlined a few uh, ways that you might start using Google Docs to collaborate. Doing stuff that you're doing anyway, Google Docs can be such a boon. And you may be wondering, well, what about people who don't have a Google account? It's okay. You don't need one to use Google Docs. Uh, I set up this particular document for, with the, the students to uh, let them see it, even if they weren't logged in. I just set the permissions so that anybody who has that specific URL can view the document and collaborate on it. You don't need an account. So they've removed a lot of hurdles. And if you haven't looked at Google Docs in a while, you might. Uh, the, uh, I would say the response in using Google Docs, the, the form, setting up the form was simple for Diana's birthday wishes. Uh, she has over 900 people who have uh, wished her a happy birthday. That was a Google Doc. And now she has that, uh, well, forever. The spreadsheet telling people where, or having, or being able to see where people were viewing from or calling from, really calling, can't really, it's difficult to use that word really anymore. Where they were dialing in from, no, because where they were living at the time that they wished her a happy birthday using Google Docs as a virtual guest book. We have a lot of ideas for you uh, if you're looking for more creative uses of Google Docs. Take a look at the article we've linked here in the description of this video. In fact, let me go ahead and pull that up, how to collaborate with Google Docs. I'm going to go ahead and plus one that. Like it, tweet it, get it out there, because I know I'm not the only one who likes the stuff that Google has to do. I, I know I'm not. And if you haven't started using Google Docs yet, I don't know what you're waiting for.